In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to use the Revolve tool. The Revolve tool in Fusion 360 is really great because you can make complex forms from simple sketches. For example, I have a sketch that I just drew here that's vertical and it's centered on the axis. That's not important as long as it has a line on one side that we can use as a revolve point. The revolve command in Fusion 360 even has its own icon. And remember, in Fusion 360, if you hover over an icon, it shows you how it works in case you ever forget. So I'm going to select Revolve. And if you forget that this is the Revolve command, you can always go Create Revolve. Then Fusion asks us to select a profile. I've selected this profile. Next, it asks for an axis. So if I would select this axis, it's going to give me an error. But if I select this axis, suddenly it thinks that's the center axis and it will go all the way around. What's really great is I can change the direction. Right now it defaults to 360 degrees. And as you can see, I get this really cool sci-fi floating city shape with just a little bit of effort. But I could make it also go maybe 180. And then I just get half. So as you can see, now I only have half of that object. So it really depends on what you want to do. And I'm going to go ahead and go full. And you can make it go to an object as well. So if you only want it to revolve to a certain face that you have in your design, and you can make that parametric in Fusion 360. That way, if you change your design, the revolve will update with it. I'm going to click OK. Well, let's see how we can make a revolve. So first, I'm going to go ahead and create a sketch. And in this case, I'm going to create a sketch up in the air here. And then I'll go ahead and get my line tool, and I'll draw some lines. I'll draw that initial center line up at the top, and then I'll just draw over, and then I'll draw over like this, and like this. And then you can add any kind of shapes that you want. You can even come into this sketch and add more shapes. For example, if I come in and I create an arc, and I click on this line, and this line, and I have this arc here, so it's tangent here, not tangent there. We, we probably can make it tangent there real quick. Click this and then this, and now we have a tangent constraint. Now watch what happens if I click the revolve command. If I click revolve, I can pick either profile. So if I want to then have that profile go around and I can make it make a new body. So I can just use that profile. And as you can see, it has that really cool cutout on the bottom. So I'll delete that profile and you can, select a different profile. So now if I select this profile, I get a completely different shape than the original. So Revolve is really powerful by being able to change which one you're looking at, how far it goes, and the shapes that you can create are very interesting. What's great about it now is now I can go ahead and modify, say with a fillet, I can click the fillet tool and I can click these edges and then I can go ahead and give them a fillet right on the edge. And it's all updated. So if I go back in and I change the revolve command, all those will update along with it. So that's very powerful. Let's go ahead and do one more revolve just to show that you can do it with a spline in Fusion 360. So I'll create a new sketch and then I'll go right here. So we're going to be going into the sci-fi lamp business here with Fusion 360. So I'm going to grab a spline and then we're just going to hit some splines. I have some videos that show how to lock down the constraints on splines. Here, that's now vertical. Select that. I'll grab a line, go from this point to this point. Now I have a profile. Once again, I'll click Revolve. I'll click that profile. And then I need an axis. So I'll pick that axis and cool. Now I have this really neat top or octopus form. And I'm going to press OK. One cool trick is you can select all these bodies, then right click, create components from bodies. So now I have three components, and then I can go ahead and inspect and display component colors. So now I can see these just like this. So hopefully that shows you how to use the revolve command in Fusion 360 and helps you make interesting forms really quickly. This helps with making pens or any kind of circular object that would spin around. Happy 3D modeling.